Hello, and welcome to the Enterpack Distributor Sales Training on Synchronous Multipoint Lifting Solutions. Before we begin, just let me give you an introduction to Enterpack, our company. We are the global leader in high pressure hydraulic tools, particularly in this space where we have the broadest product offering and a lot of experience. And we've used that experience to create some pretty sophisticated systems, as you'll see. But just because they're sophisticated, it doesn't mean that they're complex or, or difficult to operate. And a, a note on these whole, this whole series of webinars, uh, distributor sales trainings, the focus is teaching you how to sell it, which really boils down to three things. One is the value of the product. Next, the op where you can find opportunities and applications. And finally, what are the advantages of these systems versus the alternatives? So to start off with, what is a multi-point system? What are we even talking about here? Uh, in a sentence, it is a system that enables the coordinated movement of multiple hydraulic tools. If you requested a multi-point hydraulic system, say 50 years ago, for lifting, sliding, or clamping an object, you would have been given a system like this, the picture on the left. It is what we call a manual system, which consists of a pump, manifold, needle valves, gauges, and cylinders. And it's manual because it has the needle valves in there. And you might be wondering why we need them at all. Why not just hook the hose right up to the manifold and let the entire system balance out? Well, that would actually create a very dangerous situation. An object like the one being lifted here is always heavier in one corner than it is in another, which means that without the control valves managing the flow to each point, the heavier corner is going to lift slower than the lighter corner. The object will begin to tilt and potentially lead to a catastrophic failure. So the key to a safe and effective lift is synchronizing the movement of each point. Uh, you can do this with a manual system, but in recent years, Enterpack has developed two products that improve on this basic system here on the left. So where would you find an opportunity for a system like that? Regardless of what the solution is, what, where would you need this sort of system that, that does multi-point lifting, clamping, or, or, or sliding? Well, there are actually a lot of different industries that use them. Some of them use it in a very large scale, say lifting a, a bridge, uh, where other ones use it on a very small scale, maybe just a clamping fixture during fabrication. But to run through some examples, let's first talk about manufacturing and fabrication of large equipment. All right, this includes ships, uh, mobile construction, agricultural and mining equipment, uh, even rail cars. These objects are lifted and positioned during assembly, uh, but a multi-point system is often needed where the same equipment is serviced, maintained, or, or even rebuilt. Right, so there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of facilities that do that sort of work. A multi-point system is also popular with companies that are assembling and maintaining machinery. For example, uh, in power generation, uh, turbine and compressor casings need to be removed for various maintenance processes. Uh, generators and powertrains are also need to be moved and leveled, right? So in power plants, there, there can be some pretty good opportunities. Uh, but also in pulp and paper, all right? Pulp and paper is full of a lot of large equipment uh, that all needs to be well aligned, right? We have the paper running through the plant and it needs to be leveled. Uh, and really a great way to do that is with hydraulics because of the size and weight of these systems. Uh, so a multi-point system is a great solution there as well. Moving on to construction and maintenance, uh, we're going into the infrastructure side of things, right? So various structures uh, also have a great opportunity for these products, and it's actually very important, a very big one uh, for us out there. Uh, primarily bridge construction, not only in construction, but in, in the maintenance and replacement uh, of these bridges. Uh, you commonly use this system to lift and at times even slide a new bridge deck into place. So that's two different functions, lifting and sliding. Uh, and this same system can be used with other large structures. You can think of large cranes, uh, roofs, uh, or even offshore oil platforms, things that need to be uh, moved, positioned, manipulated uh, during assembly. And the, on a last note, you might actually have an opportunity to sell these systems directly to a facility doing this work. But oftentimes that facility might choose to contract out that work to somebody else, which means there's an opportunity to sell these products to those contractors, those heavy lifting and moving contractors that specialize uh, in these types of projects. So now that you have an idea of where to sell it, let's, let's start getting into the benefits, right? So we talked a little bit about that before, the manual system uh, and trying to go to a synchronized system. Uh, but to understand the real value, you need to understand what happens uh, during a lift. 
So when using a manual system, you need to have someone standing by the pump, controlling the bank of needle valves, uh, but you also have to have a person or a spotter at each lifting point which is all these little red arrows, right? You could have four lifting points, maybe 10, maybe 50, uh, but they have to, those spotters have to give, uh, provide hand signals or radio communication back to the person at the pump to adjust the flow to keep everything leveled out, right? So he's managing, the person at the pump is managing a lot of information, a lot of communication back from each point to keep this uh, object leveled. Uh, and, and that's really where the benefit of the synchronous system is. Contrast that with a synchronized system. You still need to have the operator, right, to control the pump, but the system knows what is happening. It doesn't need all of that human communication. It has feedback built into it where it knows what's happening throughout this, uh, this system. So there's really no need for constant human, human com communication. And to think about the value, right, you can see, well, okay, it'd be great to have a smart system that does that, but really the value comes in is what happens when the tools are not coordinated. Right? What happens when somebody makes a mistake or doesn't uh, receive some of the communication that's being given? Uh, well, this can lead to a lot of very, very costly uh, uh, things happening. First, stressing and damaging to your asset, whatever you're lifting or, or moving, uh, or even sideloading and damaging the cylinders you're using. Right? Repairing those is not inexpensive either. And at best, you know, this will only lead to a project delay, uh, but at worst, it results in injury or even loss of life. All these things are very, very expensive and, and very, very uh, tragic and, and unfortunate. So uh, a synchronized system reduces the opportunity for any of these things to happen, right? That's because it eliminates much of the opportunity for human error. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. And that really is the value here. To talk about what kind of solutions are out there, right? We've already uh, talked a little bit about the manual system, and we still sell that system. Uh, we can see here our AM41 manifold with gauges uh, mounted on it. Uh, but the important things to know here is that with a manual system, even with the best train operators, they typically lead to an accuracy of maybe 5 or 10 percent between each point. It is controlled purely by humans, and there is no error protection. But in a moment, you'll hear a bit, of more, a bit more about the Interpac split flow pump here in the middle of the screen. It is one of the most accurate mechanically controlled systems in its class. And its points are synchronized using a hydraulic feedback in a special manifold on the pump. And relief valves are there for each point to prevent a bad situation from getting worse. So there is some protection built in as well. And after the split flow pump, we're going to talk a little bit about the Evo series of pumps. These systems are even more accurate, and the points are synchronized using electronic sensors at each point. There are even electronic warnings and stops built into the system that will prevent the operation uh, from becoming a disaster. Uh, so even more controls in there, more safety uh, built into that. All right, so let's start talking about the split flow pump, the SFP series of pumps. It synchronizes the tools in both lifting and lowering movements, uh, with any combination of the outlets and is compatible with both single and double acting tools. It is available in an electronic valve option with a pendant as you can see on the left. You simply turn the knobs uh, to engage or disengage each point, uh, then hit the advance or retract button. The split flow pump also has a manual valve option, uh, which you can also see here, and in that case the operator can simply uh, activate any or all of the joysticks uh, in unison to advance or retract uh, the cylinders. So pretty simple to operate, right? And many times you find customers who are simply set in their ways, right? They're using a manual system. It's what they've always done. They don't want to have to learn something new. Uh, but the split flow pump operates just like a basic hydraulic pump uh, with very, very intuitive controls. Uh, and, and it can be much safer and efficient. So walking th through the, the operation of these uh, systems is, is really critical to selling the value uh, of this pump without making it uh, appear as though this is much more complicated than what they're doing today. Right, and then moving on to the, the Evo series. Just like the split flow pump, the Evo series of pumps uh, can also synchronize the lifting and lowering of any combination of outlets. But instead of using a hydraulic feedback loop, each point has its own displacement sensor which feeds back to a central PLC. The electronic valves are controlled by the computer, which provides a much higher degree of accuracy than a human-controlled system, and it can sense if the points are moving synchronously or not, 
and will sound the alarm or stop operation if they aren't. Right, so a great safety feature built into that pump. These added controls and safety features are available in the Evo Basic or Evo B system, uh, which you can see here in the middle. Uh, but even for, for more, even, uh, more advanced uh, functions, such as weighing the object or finding the center of gravity, you can use the original Evo system, which is in the bottom right there. Uh, and these functions are, are typically needed in more complex or maybe a multi-stage lift uh, involving maybe a hydraulic system and a crane and uh, some, some complicated movements. And there's certainly a lot more information you can get uh, on these systems, right? There's a lot more features and benefits on there, and I encourage you to look at our website and our catalog pages to learn more. Uh, but, you know, in, in, in very short, you know, to understand how to specify these products, uh, there is not too much you really need to understand. Right, first, you got to figure out the number of tools, the number of lifting points needed for this lift. Right, that's going to be a very important part of understanding how many uh, valves you're going to need, how many controls you're going to need. You're also going to need to know the size of these tools. How much does this object weigh? How, much, uh, how, much, how many tons do you need to lift? Uh, because that's going to dictate the size, which dictates the amount of oil that you need, uh, which will help you size the pump uh, in, the, in the reservoir in the correct way. And then finally, to really understand the value, right? Everything we've been talking about today is a manual system, right? Split flow Evo. You really got to get into what is the need for synchronization, right? How many people are needed to safely complete this job? You know, how many resources are going to be committed to this if you used a manual versus a synchronized? How experienced are those people? You know, is it their, uh, are they just within the last year being hired? Have they been doing this for 20 years? That's also going to give you some context as to how you need to talk about this system and the benefits. And when were they last trained? Even if they have a lot of experience, when was the last time they were trained on what, uh, what, what are the potential disasters or, or failures that can occur? And then finally, what is the cost of a mistake? Really highlighting this for the key stakeholders in the project. Uh, so they are fully aware of what's at risk uh, it, with this project uh, if these points are not synchronized and, and something goes wrong. Once you have this sort of information, this is going to give you a great foundation to go back to your territory manager uh, if you need help specking out the rest of the system. So to wrap up, I'll just give you a, sort of a recap of, of where to apply these. Uh, multi-point systems are used in lifting and moving, and, and our biggest opportunities for synchronous multi-point systems have been in bridge and machinery construction and maintenance. You know, both to these facilities as well as the lifting and moving contractors that service them. Uh, so those are really our, our, our most biggest successes to date. And, and since these projects are more involved, uh, you're going to want to engage a few different people. Right? So it's not just a simple sell uh, as with some of our smaller tools. A sale of this, pro of this type of uh, system is really involves, you know, first the project or plant engineer, which will be concerned about the accuracy, the specifications, and the safety of the system uh, that's being moved and put into place. But you also need to engage the maintenance or the, or the crew manager, because uh, he needs to appreciate uh, that this is an easier and safer system to operate. Uh, and of course, the project manager, right? He has a, a lot of incentives to keep this project uh, on, on course without any delays. Uh, so making sure he understands what can happen with a manual system versus a synchronized is also going to help get that person on board with uh, influencing which system they, they end up choosing. So that is it. I, I really want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you for viewing this distributor sales training. Interpack offers even more advanced solutions for multi-point lifting than what we just covered here in this training. Uh, some of those which you can see pictured here on this slide. And for more information on those or on the systems we covered today, please visit interpack.com and follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook uh, for more ideas on how to apply these systems.